God, Quint, you look terrible. Are they feeding you? <laughs> You're just wasting away in there. I'm gonna go back to the judge and tell them to reopen the case and tell them this is cruel and unusual. And we are going to get you a good lawyer this time. Don't worry. Baby, this time I'm gonna have you in my arms by Christmas. My girlfriend, her uncle is a lawyer, and uh, here he's a good one. And if we start tonight, I could have you home by Thanksgiving. Is there anything else I could do for you? Yeah, you could start by telling me who you are. At least you still have your sense of humor, you big kidder. Yeah. No, really, who the hell are you? I like that, straight to the point. Wait a second. Are you that prisoner-obsessed chick that Andy was talking about last week? It was weird. This woman acted like she was my wife. Uh, creepy. Yeah. But she didn't show me her tits. Yeah, Andrew. Good kid. But he doesn't have the connection that you and I have. Right. Um. Patsy. It's beautiful. Thanks. My parents named me after Patsy Klein. They said they conceived me while they were listening to Crazy. Crazy for feeling so lonely. I'll bet. Look, Patsy, you seem like a nice girl. You're pretty. How do you go to a bar and find a nice, normal guy? What are you saying, Quint? If you're looking for a husband, you might try a local church, maybe the library, maybe just somewhere a little less dangerous. I mean, you got me, you got Andy. Keep this up, who knows what kind of guy you'll get. There are some pretty sick people on the other side of this glass. Killers, thieves, men who eat edible panties as snacks. Not exactly the type you want to spend the rest of your life with. Fine. But for your information, I was married. I was 21, he was 23, an accountant. When we first got married, we went dancing all the time. We traveled almost every weekend. For our honeymoon, we backpacked across the country. No itinerary, just our packs on our backs and the quest for adventure. Sounds nice. It was. Then one day he came home from work and sat down on the couch and he just stayed there. He didn't want to go out. He didn't want to see friends. He didn't want to go out to dinner. He didn't want to do anything. And then one day he just stopped coming home from work and he left me. He said I bored him. He was an accountant and I bored him. <laughs> I stayed on that couch for six months. And then I vowed that I would find someone who shared my love of life. You say murderers, thieves, people who eat edible panties as snacks. I say passionate, poetic individuals who eat edible panties as snacks. You think I'm some Crazy broad who's obsessed with prisoners. I might be a crazy broad, but my obsession is with life and those who know how to live it. You're right. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have just assumed. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you. So you want me to rub my tits up against the glass? Sure. <laughs> <laughs>